Today, I'm going to show you how you can make a DME so that you can tell exactly how far from the station you are as you're plummeting towards the ground. For this build, you'll need these 3D printed parts, this laser cut acrylic, this window tint, this 20 pin cable, this 20 pin header, these two slide switches, this Alps dual encoder, a seven segment display, Max 7219, through hole chip, these seven segment displays, these resistors, capacitors, LEDs, screws, and heat set inserts. You'll also need this circuit board right here, and we'll solder all the components to it like this. The assembly isn't too bad, it's all through hole pin soldering. First start off with the resistors, and make sure that this resistor right here is going through at the front, not the back, because you'll need to put the mounting brackets on. Now you can attach the Max 7219 display and make sure to align the U with the U on the circuit board. Now you can install the two capacitors. Snip everything clean and install the seven segment displays. You can install the LEDs. Now install the IDC connector, ensuring that the notch is, matches the circuit board, and also install the switches. Trim it clean, install the rotary encoder, and you're ready to go. Once you have this circuit board complete, you can grab these three pieces. These two laser cut pieces are made with different processes. This one is just cut out of clear acrylic. This one, however, is painted black before being etched and laser cut. These two snap together and you can put a little dot of glue in to make these as one piece. This is so overkill, but uh, someone judged me in the comments on one of my videos for not using gloves. CA glue stands for cyanoacrylate, which is super glue. It's kind of a fun word. Who says you can't teach a new dog new tricks? After it's done drying, or before, if you're an impatient videographer, you can grab the window tint, cover the front of it, Try to get it to stick as best you can, and then cut the outline. Look at how much better that looks. Now you can put this LED mask thing over here, put the bezel over the entire assembly, and then make sure everything fits together before we glue it. And then this should just snap right in. You can now put this laser cut piece into this piece right here. You can now put this laser cut piece, making sure the text is on the bottom of course, into this piece right here, and this will allow you a great opportunity to align everything. You know, in corporate America, we're always having the alignment policies and, you know, we got to make sure the team is aligned. This is no different, except for not depressing. Now I can glue the face right here. With the piece of acrylic right here. You can then press the piece of acrylic into the piece of plastic to make sure they have a good bond. If the piece of acrylic already snap fits in pretty nicely, you don't really have to do this step, so it's, it's optional, really. I would recommend roughing up the 3D printed part and the acrylic right here just to give the super glue a better bond. You could also use two-part epoxy if you prefer. Now I'm going to put in the heat set inserts right here.
And finally, I have to go to school now. I like my suitcase. Suitcase. <laughs> Sorry. But now we can put the. Now let's put the circuit board onto the LEDs. And we can just press it together. Finally, we can install the dual encoder knobs. Test everything. And the last step is to install. Okay. And the last step is to install these mounts right here. Make sure that this resistor goes on the front of the board. That is a mistake that I made that I will fix in a second, probably off camera. Okay. And now we have our DME. The only thing you have to do is plug it in right here and then plug it into the Captain Bob breakout board. Personally, I'm going to use IDC 20A2. So this first Arduino on the second IDC port, plug it in, plug it in here, and we're going to be ready to configure this. We're in a blank MobiFlight file, and if we go to File, Open, and go into our DME KN62 folder in the Cessna 172 project files, click, I'm going to go in X-Plane, we'll have this pop-up, Orphan Serials Found. Now I have my uh, blank Arduino. For now, we'll ignore this, and then go up into MobiFlight Modules, and open up our DME KN62A, KN62A, and then I have underscore B for board B, side B. Uh, so that's the second pin set right here. All right. It auto-populates everything we, we need right here. We can upload the config. And now go into Extras, Manage Orphan Serials. And then go into Extras, Manage Orphan Serials. Click your... Uh, Orphan Serial right here, and select your board right here. Click Assign and OK, then just click Run. Now I am spiraling out of control up in an airport somewhere. We have 86.7 nautical miles right here, knots right here, and our minutes until we're at the airport right here. That's pretty cool. We can switch between modes right here. So this is remote mode. So that has this little thing popping up here. We have our frequency, 114.4. And if we adjust our fre frequency on here, it'll adjust as well, 117.45, 114.4. And we can also have uh, GST, I think that's ground speed. Time, ground speed time right here and so that gives us our 28 minutes we can also turn it off and on boom it's not freaking awesome thank you so much to my patrons for supporting this video including alexandre bala ben chris christopher david ecd crew herman joseph juan fortes marcelo morgan pierre pin scott and tuna power they help keep Captain Bob in the air. Thank you so much for watching. Have an, uh, have an absolutely fantabulous rest of your day and stay spicy. Have a good one.